Okay, I'm gonna show you how to drill the holes for a tree tab for a tree house. And this is the tree tab right here. So I have to drill two holes. I need to drill an inch and an eighth for this screw right here. That gets drilled first. Then I have to drill a three inch hole uh, for the collar. And that collar is gonna sit all the way into the, or mostly into the, into the wood. Okay, so what I've done already is I have marked the depth of my screw. Okay, if you see this black mark right here. So that's, if I go that deep, that should be able to seat uh, this collar all the way in. Okay, so we'll set that down. I'm going to use this dead tree as an example. Um, now, obviously, all your trees are going to be curved and irregular. So what you have to do is, just to get started, visualize what you think a level is and just get started. Before you go too deep, get a, a torpedo level. This is magnetized, so it'll stay there. And it's showing I need to be right there. Okay, so. All right. So if you look right here, here's my mark. I'm at the correct depth. And I'm just going to back it out and make sure the hole's clean. And I'll just... Okay, and make sure you tighten your chuck up. <laughs> okay, um, something to say about this, uh, the drill. Um, this is a Makita. This is an XFD-14. Um, it has the torque and the power necessary to run these. Make sure your drill is capable of this or you'll be really frustrated. Um, also pay attention uh, because it has the correct torque, it's gonna be very uh, powerful. So make sure you use your uh, auxiliary handle or you could really hurt your wrist, okay? Okay, so the next drill hole we have to drill is the three inch. Now notice I drilled the inch and an eighth first, and you do that first so it gives you the best possibility to get it completely level going in. If you drill the three inch first, um, it'd be harder to do. Okay, so this is the, the three inch bit here. Now when I bought this from uh, treehousebrackets.com, uh, it came with this bit in here just like this uh, what i did is i replaced it with uh, the same size drill bit because i needed something a little bit longer and i made this little gauge right here to help me keep it help me keep it straight so this will go into the hole like this and that'll because this tree is irregular it's not perfectly flat and this cutter is so big it needs a guide to keep it perfectly straight along the axis of the inch and an eighth hole, okay? Um, and I just turned this on the lathe. I'll just, if you want, I can show you how, how, how to make this. Also, it is uh, it's a depth stop too. It is exactly the length of the screw. Okay, so when this piece of wood hits the back of that, that first hole, it's gonna stop, okay? Okay, what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to approach that hole um, level along exactly like the first hole is. All right, let's 
chuck keeps coming loose, but this thing is so powerful, I'm afraid it hurts. <laughs> that's, the reason, that's the reason it keeps coming loose, is because it's more powerful than my hand, okay? Okay, I think I'm where I need to be is bottoming out. Now this is a little deeper on this side because of the slope of the tree, but this should be the three inch at the top. Now my piece of wood is still in there. In order to get that out, just take a long screw and just pull it out. Oh, okay, well, I drilled a little bit. Okay, here's a drawback to this. <laughs> I actually drilled about a good inch off of this. Okay, so you got to pay attention. But it, it served its purpose. Um, it kept it oriented to where you have a nice, both of these holes are perfectly in line with each other. That was the goal. Okay, and in order to put this in, you're going to start it like that and then you'll have to have a big socket this is an inch and seven eighths and you literally just start turning now i'm not going to do this because um it's going to be really hard to get out and i don't want it here i just wanted to show you guys how to drill the holes okay so that's how you do it uh, basically you turn this until this is seated into the tree and then you're done okay let me back up and look at the big picture here uh, make sure you have the right drill the right drill bits and uh, just be careful because this is a it's a high torque situation you can hurt your wrist okay all right hope this helps oh if you want to stick around i'll show you how to make the uh uh, the little guide that I made. So if you're interested in that, I'll show you how to make that. All right, let's uh, let's show you how to make this this piece here. It's uh, it's five inches. I cut some of that when I made my hole, so I need to remake this. But uh, pretty simple. If you have a lathe, is just take a uh, two by four, you know, rip it an inch and a half by inch and a half. Find your center holes and let's go and put it on a lathe. Let's turn this real quick. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, let's test it.
Okay. All right, now we need to take this off and we need to drill it. And uh, let me get my drill press set up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the, the key to success for this is to get the, uh, the drill to go in the center. You've already got a mark here from your lathe. Um, is to, um, even though this, this may be out of plumb, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as the uh, initial hole is in line with the axis of the drill press. So, I was fortunate enough to have a bit that's an inch and an eighth, and I just drilled a hole into this big block. And then all you have to do is set your piece in there and line it up and drill your hole. And I remember the whole, the whole purpose of me turning this is because it's an inch and an eighth. Um, if you can find dowel stock, that's an inch and an eighth, you know, more power to you. So, but uh, I don't have it around here. So we'll uh, we'll put this back on the uh, the drill bit, and this will be our new guide for the new hole. And uh, it's five inches long, and uh, um, the next hole I cut, I'll need to be more mindful of not cutting this down like I did on the previous one. So be a little more slow. But uh, anyway, there you go. That's how you do it. See you later.